Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Tombstone Tourist. This week, I'm still in the heart of Dixie at the Highland Memorial Gardens in Hueytown, Alabama. Hueytown is best known for being the hometown of one of NASCAR's most popular families, the Allisons. Bobby, Donnie, along with their longtime friend, Red Farmer, became known as the Alabama Gang. Over the years, Bobby's sons, Clifford and Davey, along with the family's close friend, Neil Bonnet, also became members of the Alabama Gang. While the Allison family was successful on the track, the family was also struck by tragedy both of Bobby and Judy's sons, Clifford and Davy, died at a very early age. Clifford died in a practice crash at the Michigan International Speedway. Less than a year later, Davy died when the helicopter he was piloting crashed in the infield at the Talladega Super Speedway. Today, I'm going to be visiting both of their graves here at the Highlands Memorial Gardens. I'm going to start by visiting Davy's grave, which is pretty easy to find. Just enter the cemetery and turn to the right. Follow the road around until it makes a sharp turn at the top of the hill. Immediately look to the right and you'll see a memorial bench that has been placed here by the Allison family. From the bench, walk about six rows in and you'll find the final resting place of Davy Allison. David Carl Allison was born in Hollywood, Florida, on February the 25th, 1961. He is the son of NASCAR Hall of Fame driver Bobby Allison and the nephew of 2024 NASCAR Hall of Fame inductee Donnie Allison. Being born into a racing family, Davy developed an interest in cars at a very early age and began working on Bobby's NASCAR Winston Cup team. When he graduated from high school, Davy began building his own cars and raced them at the Birmingham International Raceway before moving up to racing ARCA cars in 1983. For the next couple of years, Davy competed on the ARCA circuit where he won eight races in 1985. In July of 1985, Hoss Ellington gave Davy the opportunity to drive in the Winston Cup Series, competing in the Talladega 500. He qualified 22nd and finished 10th in his first NASCAR Winston Cup start. In 1987, car owner Harry Rainier hired Davy to replace veteran driver Cale Yarborough in the number 28 Ford Thunderbird. Davy as a driver, Rainier obtained sponsorship from Texaco and their Haviland brand of motor oils. With their new Haviland sponsorship, Davy qualified second and started the 1987 Daytona 500 on the outside of the front row. But a poor pit stop dashed all hopes of a good finish. Bill Elliott won the race, and Davy finished 27th. On May 3, 1987, during the Winston 500, Davy was drafted around the Super Speedway when on lap 22, Bobby cut a tire down that sent his number 22 Stravola Brothers car airborne crashing into the catch fence. Bobby walked away from the vicious crash uninjured. The race was delayed for more than two hours while repairs was made to the fence. When the race resumed, Davy continued to run up front as darkness descended on the speedway. During a late race caution, NASCAR announced that the race would end on lap 178, 10 laps short of the advertised 188 lap distance. Davy restarted the race second and going down the back straightaway, passed race leader Dale Earnhardt. Davy pulled away from Earnhardt and captured his first NASCAR Winston Cup win. Davey would go on to become not only one of NASCAR's most successful drivers, but also one of the sport's most popular. During his career, Davey enjoyed great success at Talladega, and it was at Talladega that tragedy struck. On July 12, 1993, 
Davy and Red Farmer boarded a helicopter for the short flight from Birmingham out to the Talladega Super Speedway to watch fellow Alabama gang member Neil Bonnet and his son David test for an upcoming bush race. With Davy at the controls of the helicopter, it crashed while attempting to land in the infield of the Super Speedway. Davy sustained a critical head injury and was transported to the Birmingham Hospital where he died about 7 a.m. the next morning. He was 32 years old. Red Farmer was seriously injured but would eventually recover and continues to race today. During his nine-year Winston Cup career, Davy Allison competed in 191 NASCAR Winston Cup races, winning 19 times. He had 92 top 10 finishes and sat on the pole 14 times. Davy Allison was inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame in 2019. Just a short distance away, down near the grotto, we find the grave of Davy's younger brother, Clifford. Clifford began his racing career by working on the pit crew for his father's Bush Series team. When Bobby's Bush Series team disbanded in 1988, Clifford began competing on the ARCA circuit and in the NASCAR Bush Series, driving for car owner Frank Cece. But after a series of poor performances, CC released Clifford, who found part-time rides with teams owned by Clint Folsom and Barry Owens. His best finish came in April of 1992 when he finished second in an ARCA race at the now-closed Texas World Speedway. During practice for a Bush Series race at the Michigan International Speedway in August of 1992, Clifford spun in turn four, hitting the concrete wall with his driver's side door. He died a short time later while being transported to a local hospital. He was the first of two Allisons to die within a span of about 11 months. As I said earlier, his brother Davy perished in a helicopter crash at the Talladega Super Speedway. Just a short walk from Clifford's grave is the final resting place of his and Davy's mother, Judy, and the future resting place of their father, Bobby. Judy married Bobby in 1960 and the couple remained married for more than 50 years. She, along with Linda Petty, were two of the most popular wives in the NASCAR Winston Cup garage. Judy was one of the founding members of the NASCAR Winston Cup Racing Wives Auxiliary. Judy Allison passed away at the age of 74 on December 18, 2015 in Mooresville, North Carolina. She is resting here in the Highlands Memorial Gardens near her two sons, Davy and Clifford. Well, this is where I'm going to end this video. If you have a favorite memory of Davy Allison, the Alabama gang, or any of the people that we visit in these videos, I hope you will share your memories with us in the comments. And if you find these videos interesting, I hope that if you haven't already done so, that you will consider subscribing to my channel. It's free, and it really helps the channel grow. And while you're at it, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Now, until next time, please remember, life is a wonderful journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it, and I'll see you down the road. So long, everybody.